Hey everyone, in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to create a custom email campaign in Drip from a email template created in Postcards. So in the Postcards app, I have a template created and it looks like this. And the first thing we want to do is we want to add some Drip short codes to this template in the Postcards interface. So we don't have to go through the code and update it like that. So the two short codes we need to add for drip are these, the unsubscribe URL and inline postal address. And these are what the drip short codes look like. So we'll be adding both of these to the footer. So for the first one, unsubscribe URL, we want to change this email link from an email to an unsubscribe link. So I press the footer, which opened up the menu, and it's in column two. So now I'll search for the email, and I'll replace this text with unsubscribe, and paste in the short code. The next thing I want to change is this address. So the address is defined here, and I will copy this short code and replace the address with the short code and press done. So now we're done making changes to this template and we can export it. So I'll press the export button, download as zip, and make sure you, you have the host images online option selected so you don't have to download and manually deal with the images yourself. I've already extracted and downloaded my template and it looks like this. So this is just the email template created in postcards. And next, I'll be going over how to create the custom campaign in Drip. So now I'm in the Drip interface in the campaigns page and I'll press new campaign. I'll call it postcards. And from the email section, I will press create my first email and choose text slash HTML builder. And in this interface, I want to switch to custom HTML. Press I understand. And in here, I want to replace everything with the HTML code from the postcards template. So I'll open this index.html file in a text editor highlight and copy everything and replace everything in this editor. So now I will press preview and there is the postcards template successfully imported into drip. Now I can save it and go to next. And I will change this email just because you're not allowed to send from Gmail. And then I will go back to emails. And you can also add in a subject. So now I'll press send test email. And next we'll be looking at what the test email looks like. So now I'm in my Gmail and this is what the test email looks like. It's basically the postcards template that was sent by Drip and the short codes were updated to be the values that it represents. And at this point, your campaign is ready to go in Drip and you can send your emails or do whatever you want with them. And that was it for this tutorial. Until next time, see you guys later.